Got him, got him, got him. Oh, the same guy, the guy we just killed in the set. Oh no, we've got a top profile out of boys. Oh no, oh my god, <laughs> oh, they got him, they're red. <laughs> Sure, I'll fight that. And we'll pass and go here. Mm -hmm. And there's the merge. I think he's a little worried. Into engines. Use my bottom thrusters to pull around the corner, get the distance. Bring myself to center. See how he's uh so he's holding at 1.9. So he's he's going away from us. So we don't wanna. Again, we want to be a little defensive in something like a Pisces, right? Like, we don't have the initiative to chase him. We're not in a faster ship. We don't have the same guns. Like, we are outclassed and outmatched. But what we can do is we can let him come to us. We can play a little defensive. So he's just kind of holding it rain. Okay, so now see how 1.4... So he's still back strafing a lot. He's still worried. So I'm slowly moving towards him. Now he's trying to push through. Oh, this poor gentleman. This poor, poor man. Oh, this poor man. Oh, it's over already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that, that poor, poor man. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to the Vanguard. Oof. merge and let's battle hopefully this time we won't have any decent collisions there we go return to center again right same kind of idea i want to play this one a bit defensively i want to keep myself out of the kind of 1000 to 750 meter extreme danger zone of the emp i want to roll with them i want to create a step maneuver and I don't see him EMPing right now, so I'm actually going to cut across him a little, a little here. Get the distance. There we go. See, bottom thrusters. Now I can chase. Now I can chase. Bottom thrusters again. See how I orientate my bottoms? Now I'm up strafing, no throttle to kind of slow down. Hopefully I don't get another collision. There we go. And I want to track, 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 track. He's going to fire at me. Keep his shields down. S turn through those turns again. Less is more. I don't want to. I don't want to make big movements. Now he's gonna run again, so I want to chase him through. I don't. I don't want to blow past him. And I want to aim center body, kind of place all my damage in the right spot. So now he's slowly turning away, like towards me. I can't accelerate through that turn. So what I'm gonna do is, as soon as he gets nose on me, I'm gonna switch the direction of the fight. So he's constantly having to track me. And there it is. For those of those who don't know, the Scythe has some invincible zones on the ship, so we're gonna have to apply... We're gonna have to apply anywhere from five to 15,000 hit points against this thing to kill it, so... It's gonna be quite an interesting battle. What's that guy in? He's in a Talon. And this is a Scythe. Raz. Oh boy. Alright, Raz, let's go. <laughs> A fucking sight, no way! <laughs> Alright, Raz, let's go. Let's, uh, let's play a little game here. And there's the merge. And in we go into the right fight. Level out, return to center, into a corkscrew, stay defensive, which means I'm posturing at a lower speed, making small movements to make sure that he doesn't get a shot lined up, get within that 800 meters. As soon as I close within weapons distance, now I can fire, and I go into my S-turn pattern across his nose the other way, across his nose the other way, back to shields. Again, right? Bring it close to center, pull into the turn, bottom thrusters boost through. Level myself out, slow down, because I want to fight inside the bubble. Get across his nose, rotate the fight so that he doesn't get too um, too comfortable. And see, So what he's doing just there was what's called overrolling. So notice how I'm not really moving my nose very much, and I'm still applying a lot of damage, right? Uh, and it, he's allowing me to close distance as well. So 
now I get into a nice close range fight, which he actually can beat me in the rate fight here. Or at least get guns on me. So I'm actually going to extend bottom left strafe to kind of keep my distance away. When I get fire, I want to move. And again, these are all fundamentals, right? We would be honored if you would join us. Again, right, same thing. Stay inside the bubble, keep my speed low, stay defensive. And then slowly apply the damage. Again, into the raid fight. Use my bottom thrusters so I push through. And then again, another S turn. Bring myself back to center. Keep applying damage. Looks like he's going down here. Again, this is an overroll. It's not an effective defensive tool, right? Still applying damage, still stopping a shield recharge. Unfortunately, the gentleman has ripped a wing off, and it is over for him. So this is pretty much it here. He's got a little life left in him, but unfortunately, it probably won't be enough. Oh. Now he's extending his motion. He's fighting better now than he was previously. There we go. Hey, there it is. About time. All right, there's a Gladius here. Same thing, right, guys? Same thing. So we'll go past. We'll start the fight. As soon as we pass, we'll... There it is. Again, right? So he's nosed on me faster than I am. But we've got the range, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Again, right? Slowly stay defensive. Work my way in. Move my bottom thrusters into position so that I'm always tracking with roll. Now I can scoot a little closer because I was expecting someone to like start shooting at me there. I use bottom thrusters. Down straight to the left because I want him to come around that corner. I want to keep him inside my little bubble. And as soon as I, re I, I start receiving fire, I want to make it difficult for him to hit me. Right? Because I only have like, one little size, size one shield, right? Again, I'm slower speed than him. I'm fighting inside the bubble. Now I come up and over his nose here. Now I can actually scoot in. I'm actually receiving fire or something else. I'm not sure, but I almost have this kill. So one more turn here. Bottom thrusters through. Pre-flare because I got a missile lock. Flare again. And a nine. Probably a bounty hunter. All right. Okay, so see how his energy state is really high? See how he's got a lot of momentum, he's got a lot of movement speed. He's shooting, he's getting like 1 in 10 shots kind of applying, right? So not enough to really do any damage to my shields. Nothing too concerned about. Again, stay in the S pattern slowly. Again, slowly walk my way towards. Keep my momentum back to center. Nothing too crazy. Kind of do some probing shots because I'm within range. Stop his shield recharge. Roll into the shot. I'm never... Like, I'm never... Um, more missiles coming out. See how he's backing off? Alright. Too close. There we go. Again, rotate around. Receiving fire, then go defensive. Keep my shield power up, because that's what's going to keep you safe. Receive fire, rotate the fight the other way. Oh, a little desync there. It's all good. Again, right? I'm in control of this fight right now. Right? Because see how his pattern is predictable? We know he's going to go to the left, then he's going to go to the right now, then he's going to go to the left. Right? Predictable. He set set a precedent on how he's how he's going to like kind of walk into the fight. Nothing too crazy here. Lower my speed because I want to keep my energy state low because I want to stay responsive. Strafe down here because I know he's going to come around that corner with lots of energy. He's got so much momentum moving into this turn. Doesn't make any sense, right? It's becoming predictable. I know he's going to go that way. Like, he's he's telegraphing everything. He's not changing his vector. He's not changing the rotation of the fight. He's trying to lock missiles some range, but again, right? I have a flare count set to three, so there it goes. And I've got 33 more to go, right? So I have more flares than he has missiles. So he'll never apply damage with the missiles. Keep my speed low. Track into my shots. Ro rotate the fight. There we go. Now he's now he's dangerous. Now he's actually in a dangerous position for me. He's he hooked around the corner, but he didn't keep the range, so I can I can pull out of that spot. So now again, right? 
put myself in the position I want to be in, rotate into the shot, straight up when I'm receiving damage like that. And again, he's going to move that way because it's predictable. He's, he's set the same pattern over and over and over again. We want to kind of serpentine across his nose here because that's what's going to give us the chance to kind of shake damage up. Now he's telegraphing that he wants to run because he's losing the fight. And there it is. We'll have a little battle. A little battle. <laughs> Alright, let's get that. Oh! He's engaging before the pass. Alright, that's good. So now, again, I talk about all the whole less is more type idea, right? So this is a very, very, very dangerous position for me to be in. I don't want to be here, so I want to extend. And I know he's going to come after me, so my energy state is high, so I was lucky there. But this this will probably end poorly for me, because this, this Gladius is doing everything he should be doing right now. He just needs to be more reactive when he's receiving fire like this. He needs to be more careful that he doesn't... Um, take too much damage before the next turn. Like right here, he should be corkscrewing a little harder into his turn here, right? And what I want to do is I want to get a little bit closer. So now I can push hard to try to hook around him before he gets his shield up. But see how he's got a higher turn rate than me, so I can't win the rate fight. And he's just getting his shields up. So what I can do... A oh, little back... not back strafe, a little down to the left strafe to kind of force an extension. Because he wants to fight closer than I can handle. Because my ship has a lower turn rate. So I'm, I'm in trouble when he pushes like that. So what I can do is see how I reverse the fight angle. So as he comes around, now I can go the other way. So he comes around me the opposite side. And this is what I call the up over the nose. Right? It's just reversing up now. Because he wants to come around me that way. And I don't want him to come around that way. I want to come around this way. So now he wants to come around me the other way. So I reverse it. If you would join. And I keep applying damage the whole time. Uh, nice, good fight. Uh, uh, blah, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Buy the effing book. <laughs> yeah. This is hi. Did you ever deal? Sorry, did you ever try duel in bigger ships like the Freelancer? Yeah, all the time. We uh, we just uh, I mean we did it yesterday or not yesterday, but the day before and all that stuff, right? So, so here we go, another Gladius, uh, very popular ship, Gladius when it comes to dogfighting. All right, let's see. So we already did that merge, so his approach angle right here is very is very wrong. Okay, so he's got distortions, so this could be nasty. Oh see how that see how that uh, no, that nose is flaring around so much? Right, so I want to cut across him because I know he wants to go the other way. Cut across him again. Cut across him again. And what I want to do, see how he wants as soon as he matches me, then I want to reverse it. And I want to always make sure that I'm rolling into my shot. Now this is a dangerous spot for me to be in because my shields are down and he's got distortions so this this could be real bad. Oh, give me my distortions. I got two more size ones. Oh, there it is. Almost shut down. Almost shut down. See my distortion damage Talon versus uh, Pisces. Pisces, yeah. Yeah, you don't need a lot of target time. You don't need a lot of target time with the distortions to, to get that kill, right? So, um not a big fan of how CIG has decided to do the distortions. I think it's just because components don't take very much distortion damage. So I think the, the, the distortion damage rate join us. for the, 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 the individual components maybe needs to get tuned. Okay, so Ido knows what he's up to. Right, so... Yeah, not good for me. Not good. So I want to actually close the distance because I need time to get my shield up. And what I can do to him is I can out DPS him. I four size ones does more than two size fours. So as he comes around, I'm gonna actually pre nose a little bit because I want to get into position, boost through that turn, and now I'm in trouble. Took a lot of hits on that turn. Tried my best. Too high of an energy state, and I'm missing shots. So I might have it here. Oh, not looking good. I want to rotate to fight the other way because he's weak on his left roll. 
So I want to keep fighting in that direction because I've noticed he's weak here. His accuracy has taken a big hit in this kind of roll pattern. See how he's not rolling with me really well? He's continuously rolling the other direction because he's too used to rolling to the left. So what I can do is I can use that against him and I can kind of walk around him if I have a chance here. Oh, I might get it. Hey! So find your opponent's weakness and exploit it. Well, there you have it, folks. Um... Again, right, these fights, uh, I feel like the commentary was good enough that we didn't really need to go into a tactical breakdown. Um, but the, the point behind today's video was really just to kind of solidify the importance of combining all your basic flight techniques, right? Fighting inside the bubble, putting your S-turns in. Remember, it's all about understanding all your different tools and then combining in different ways during the fight and being able to adapt on the fly with the different tools you have and the, and the, and the different, you know, I guess you could say, opportunities and knowledge uh, to apply it in the right way at the right time, right? That's really all it comes down to, right? And uh, this is a good explanation, or especially because we're in the Pisces, you know, it's a, it's a not a meta ship. Um, so it really goes to show the importance of combining all your different tools uh, and putting together a nice kind of combat package with uh, 15 minutes of cool video and a uh, Pisces, right? So, all right, guys, I was Avenger 1. Take a look at Predator mounts. Um, if you're interested in getting a mounting system for your joysticks, it's the ones I use. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, we broke another record yesterday. We had 250 people in the stream. That's never happened before. Guys, I wish I had the words to tell you how much it means to me. It's a, always a great time. We had an absolute blast. I hope to see all you folks out there. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.